In this video, I'm going to discuss the breakaway gap. I have discussed this topic before. You can find my prior video on the ICT breakaway gap in my ICT basics playlist along with all of my other videos on ICT topics. <clears throat> uh, before I get started, guys, I want to mention to you all of my referral links. Apex Trader Funding is currently running a sale. Sign up for Apex Trader Funding using my referral link in the description box below. You can also find referral links to Top Step Trader Funding, the Trader Pit, uh, GMBH, and American Express Credit Cards, Blue Cash Preferred, 6% on groceries, 3% on transit, 3% on gasoline, 1% on all of your purchases. Get a $75 statement credit if you uh, sign up using my referral link in the description box below. Okay, guys, um, in this video, we're going to discuss the topic of breakaway gaps. And <clears throat> for this video, guys, I, I just want to mention that I'm going to be down on the five minute to the one minute chart. Um, I find it, you can most easily find breakaway gaps on uh, these time frames. Okay, guys, let's go on our regular trading hours, and I just want to show you some examples of breakaway gaps here. Let's go on a three minute chart. Um, First off, let's define what is a breakaway gap. A breakaway gap is a fair value gap uh, or volume imbalance, but it's a, it's a fair value gap that forms and remains open, as in the market does not um, trade, back into, trade back into it and especially not close into that fair value gap. It should be at the start of a new leg. Okay? Does every leg have a breakaway gap? No. Um, but oftentimes, do new, do new trends have breakaway gaps? Yes. So what you want to do when you're looking for uh, breakaway gaps is, uh, we'll go on the electronic trading hours, that's fine, is we want to look uh, where new legs have started. And let's look first at some bullish breakaway gaps. So right here, we have a breakaway gap. Let me use the trend line tool for this. Okay, so here we have a breakaway gap, and you can easily identify this as a breakaway gap because this is a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency at the start of a new leg higher. And notice that price does not trade back in to this buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. So a prerequisite to using the, the breakaway gap is you first have to know what is a fair value gap. All right, so I have videos on how to identify the two types of fair value gaps, the buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, and the sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, okay? Now guys, I wanna direct your attention to my community tab. If you go on my community tab, you'll see that I'm making posts talking about some of the videos that I'm gonna make. A few days ago, I said I was gonna make a video on breakaway gaps, which is one of the first things to look for when you suspect the market is getting ready to turn around. And so I just wanna direct your attention to the community tab on my channel, Make sure to go read those written posts. Okay, so back to trading view. Let's look at some more uh, breakaway gaps on the buy side. Let's go down to the one minute chart and let's get on the regular trading hours. Okay, so the regular trading hours here, here we have a breakaway gap. Okay, here we have a breakaway gap. Now, Notice that these are buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiencies that the market is not trading back into. In other words, the market is leaving them open. That is a great sign, especially when you see it, um, when you see one of these sort of hammer candles or uh, stops were just taken. So for example, we would have had stops here. Notice that the market comes down, uh, trades into these stops and then abruptly turns higher. You're watching the one minute chart and when you see that this buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency is staying open, that's a good, good sign that we're going to run on some of this buy side liquidity. Okay, we ended up running much higher than that. But the point is, is that you want to look for breakaway gaps right where you suspect that the market is about to turn around. Okay, so let's find some more examples of some bullish uh, breakaway gaps. We're down on the one minute chart on the regular trading hours. I'm just picking these sort of at random. So again, notice buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency or a bullish fair value gap that the market is not trading back into. And it's at the start of a new leg. 
We see that here as well. Buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency that the market is leaving open. That is the classic sign of a breakaway gap, and it means that the market is moving with force. It's moving with momentum. It means that it's it's moving with a purpose to move higher. Okay, that that is uh, the breakaway gap. So let's find some more examples of bullish breakaway gaps. All right. Okay, here is another one right here. There was one right there. So, how do we use this information real time? Okay, so let's see that you're watching the market here at 1220 on the Wednesday, the 24th of January, okay? And you see that the market has formed this sort of two-bar candle reversal, and we just traded below some minor sell-side liquidity. So the market sort of looks like it wants to turn around, right? And then you see that, that breakaway gap form and... You also see this buy side liquidity here. Okay, that is a good sign, and that would have been a five point trade, not a bad trade, but by the way, there's also buy side liquidity here. Okay, so you see that buy side liquidity is sitting above the marketplace. You see a two bar candle reversal just after some minor sell stops were taken. You then see a breakaway gap form really sort of a high probability trade that the market, uh, you just want to smash into the market long. That's a really good uh, uh, sign that the market is going to go run on go run on that buy side liquidity. Okay, guys, let's look for some sell, uh, sell side breakaway gaps. So this is going to work the exact same way, but just the opposite. Beautiful, um, beautiful breakaway gap here. And notice that the market came down and it was running on all of this sell side liquidity here. Okay, so the market was running on that sell side liquidity. Let's get some more examples of breakaway gaps on the sell side. So you first, you, you have to be able to identify a fair value gap. If you don't know what a fair value gap is, if you don't know how to identify a fair value gap, you're not gonna be able to identify breakaway gaps. So, if you don't know what a fair value gap is, I recommend that you go watch ICT vid ICT's videos on fair value gaps or my video on fair value gaps and how to identify them. Second, um, you want you, ideally you want a breakaway gap forming uh, just after stops were taken, right? Just after stops taken in the opposite direction. Number three, you want to look for a gap, a fair value gap that the market has formed that the market is not trading back into that's at the start of a new trend. Okay, this could be on the buy side or it could be on the sell side. Let's find some more examples of some breakaway gaps to the sell side. Beautiful example of a breakaway gap here. And I'm not going to use this as a breakaway gap here because that's sort of in the middle of the of the leg down. And I want it to be, ideally, guys, your breakaway gap should be at the start of the new trend. Okay, not really in the middle, more towards the start. There's another one right there. Does it matter what size they are? Not particularly. So guys, what I'm doing in this video is I'm just training your visual pattern recognition, okay? You should be able to recognize these as I'm doing them. You should be able to see them on your screen before, before I even point them out.
Okay. Yeah, that's not really one. It's it's, it's okay. It's okay. I, you could call this a breakaway gap here. So guys, you can see that this is a reliable pattern. I mean, I'm I'm just sort of picking these out at, at random. I'm not um, I'm not doing anything special. But every single time, guys, you see one of these breakaways form. What do we do? We run on the opposing side liquidity. We run on the opposing side liquidity. And again, we run on opposing side liquidity, as in right there. <coughs> so you can see that these breakaway gaps are reliable patterns. All right, finally, guys, let's take a look up at our daily chart and see if we can find any examples of breakaway gaps on the daily chart. Okay, guys, so you can see that you can find breakaway gaps uh, on the daily time frame as well, but they're not quite as common as you're going you're gonna to find on an intra intraday basis. But guys, we're always looking for separation in candles. That's something that we're looking for. We're, look, we're looking for when the market moves with force, when it moves with velocity, and when you have candle separation. We're always looking for that. Okay, guys, this is my video on the breakaway gap. Um, I have made videos on the breakaway gap before. Uh, it's a very, very valuable, critical pattern. It should be something that you study. Go to ICT's channel to study the breakaway gap as well. Okay, guys, um, this has been my video on the ICT breakaway gap. Please use my referral links in the description box below. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Trading futures involve substantial risk of loss, including more than the initial capital that you put in your account. Uh, I am not advising you to to purchase, sell, or in any other way dispose of securities or securities derivatives, trade at your own risk. All right. Bye-bye, guys.